Morris and Rambo. The wideouts. No H back in the game. Now they'll send Stevenson out wide as well. Empty set here from the 25 in overtime. Going left to right, Crimson jerseys. Baylor showing blitz. Here they come. Quick throw out to the left. Caught, turned up. CD got grabbed by the face mask and ripped down. That'll be a 15 yard penalty after just a two yard game. Wow. That's a bad one. That's a dangerous one. That's First one of those. Foul, are... Face mask. Defense number 38. Half the distance to go from the end of the run. Automatic first down. That's Jordan Williams. It should take it to around the 11 or 12 yard line. That's a critical penalty. Huge first down on the first play for Oklahoma. I like that they're trying to find CD. Spread it out. Go empty. Put those defenders, Baylor, spread them out where you got to make that one-on-one -on -one tackle. And as you can see, just incredibly difficult. TJ Pledger in the game for the first time today. Split backs with Stevenson. Pledger right, Stevenson left. Three wide receivers set from the 11, first and 10. Hertz has it. He keeps it. Runs up the middle. Steps across the 10. Pushing to the 5. Carrying tacklers. He'll spot it at the 5. Really Six nice yard run. Individual effort there. He makes contact on about, I don't know, the eight yard line and carries defenders for three more. Get him down on the five yard line. Clock not a factor now. It's they can convert here without getting to the end zone. Second and four from the five. Two wides, two tights. Stevens in the back, in motion land. He sets up tight end right. Snap to Hertz. Hand off Stevenson. Breaks through. Touchdown! Ramondre Stevenson! Five-yard touchdown run. And Oklahoma strikes first in overtime. Tons of success with this play. This is a little bit different look at it. They got CeeDee Lamb over there on the edge blocking the outside guy. But they still split it right up the middle. They got bowlers coming in. Kick out on the first one. Double with the second. And it just opens up that gap in the middle. Walk in for Ramondre Stevenson. Burkage for the extra point. Snap good. Hold down. Kick is away. And it's good. 30 to 23. Right downstairs. Chris Plank. Give me something. Energy. Jalen Hurts confident. Walks over to the bench. All cool collective. CD Lamb. It was interesting game on that play before. There was a little confusion from C.D. Lamb on the outside on the power by Jalen Hurts, but it works. And the third guy at the running back position, Ramondre Stevenson, scores the go-ahead touchdown. How about that? Yeah, and how about C.D. Lamb with a nice little block on the backside in the wing position? Listen to this crowd. Can Baylor answer? From the 25, a turnover would end it. They go split backs, man in motion. Play action. Zeno back to pass under pressure, and he threw it away. He had Neville and Broyles in his lap, and he dumped it into the cheerleader, second and ten. Again, great pressure on the quarterback. Now, the couple of plays that they've made, Zeno had no pressure on him. So, again, you, you get to that quarterback, you harass him in the pocket. They haven't been able to do anything. How about this moment for a freshman quarterback? Jacob Zeno out of San Antonio came into the fourth quarter trying to get himself a statue in Waco. Two tight ends set here for Baylor. They change the play. Five to snap. It. Second and ten from the 25. Zeno's got it. Play action. Looks right. Flushed right. Being chased. Throws late. It is incomplete. Intended for Thornton. There were two suitors there. Third and ten. Great challenge. He puts it on the money. He puts on his wide out on the sideline. But we got two defensive backs there for the pass breakup. And a great job by Ronnie Perkins forcing the pressure as he tried to roll out and gain the edge. Third and ten. Trips right, one left. Face to the back. Mims on his own. The Sooners think Baylor jump, but there's no flag. Looks like they're changing the play. They got five to snap it. Zeno's got it. Straight drop. 
Looking right, under pressure. They got him! They got him! Redmond and Benito back at the 35. It'll be fourth down. The sixth sack of the day. Running games on both sides. You see this a ton. And just putting all kinds of pressure all day long on these quarterbacks. Boy, I tell you, when your four-man pass rush can get home like that, it's so, so good for your defense. Makes you so effective. Interesting development, guys. A bunch of the defensive staff just came and found C.D. Lamb. Jump I don't ball. know if they would put him in for the jump ball situation. You know, you know how that works, Teddy. So, just something to keep an eye on. Timeout, Baylor. It'll be fourth and 20 from the 35. Obviously, you got to worry about number five here. Denzel Mims, six foot three. A lot of guys to worry about. He's top of the list. Now, there's, there's the Hail Mary, and then there's the underneath route where you hit the late crosser and then try and lateral to a guy going back across the grain against the defense here. Here we go. In motion, Sneed. Four wide receivers set. Hasty the back. Fourth and 20. Snap to Zito. Four-man rush. Back to pass. Under pressure. Flush right. Throws late. Down the middle. Incomplete. You can unhitch the wagon. Put the pony to the ball.